want to be in the video? As a Christmas gift, I got this bed cover. So this is for my 75 long bed C10 truck. Um, I went with the tr True Export, however you pronounce it. It's right here. Went with this one, it's a soft one, and it's a roll-up one, not a foldable. Uh, I, I prefer the soft ones, mainly because I started with the C4 Corvette where the back tonneau area had that roll-out thing. And I think that looks good and works good, so I wanted that on the truck. So let's open this up, see what it takes to install. So this is the Truxedo Cheer Export bed cover. Open it up. We already got the side rails into the bed. And here's the actual tonneau cover. The soft leather roll-up. Just what I wanted. Okay, so we'll just set this right there for now. much tools to do this. Let's get through that. Okay, so we want to get something like this, this side cover right here. So I have to take off the rails. So if your truck has rails on it, take it off. Um, the rails are just held on by Phillips and then they have a nut on the back. I think it's a 10, but it, it's so rusted it's now 11. So these rails will just need to pop off and then the side cover for this will just sit right on top. Okay, so taking the filter first, just going to put it on here, give it a, a whack, make sure it's in there good, and then taking the 11 on the back side, and we're going to use either the Phillips or the 11 to bust it off, but I'm going to put the box side on, and now if I twist Phillips, and hold the bottom wrench with my finger, we can get it out. So that one's not so bad. Got all the screws out, had to drill a couple of them out, but managed to get it out without hurting this. Now there's some gaskets underneath, which try to salvage, keep together with that. And now since the tonneau cover side rail is gonna sit right on top of here, let's clean up this surface. So step one, put the little weather seal corner on the bottom side here. Now this is the left one. And then we just got the actual tonneau cover. This is the bottom of it. We're just going to insert it in. And it will slide right in. It's a little awkward because it's so long, but there we go. You see the weather seal. And then... We just kind of rough line it up. Let's do the other side. Okay, now that we got that there, we got to clamp it down. So take the clamp apart, slide it in. And it's just a threaded bolt in here. And then you're supposed to put the groove of the clamp into the groove on the bed, the side bed. So I'll just tighten that by hand. This is a half inch bolt, so we'll just tighten it with a half inch socket. Okay, and then if you see over here, there's three clamps on each side, six in total. We just put them, spread them out roughly evenly. It's not really important, but if you do get a better seal, that means you're going to get less water protruding it. So, that's the goal. Okay, we got the rails in. They're all tight. Let's move this back. Back here in these corners, we need to put the seal here. So it's as simple as just putting it right on like that. Now I'll do that to the other side and then we'll show you how to clamp it in. So the way this clamp works, this hook is gonna go into there and then you press down and it will clamp in. Now, this side is not really wanting to crop right. We need this time to go over to the right a little. But so by by yourself, line it up and 
give it a go. I'm going to try to stretch this out because this is still cold in packaging. I'm going to press down. All you do is just press it down, do the same thing to the other side. The other one when you when you undo the last one there's a lot of tension so it's really crazy violent. This is the Juice Sport Tuxedo Truxedo tonneau cover. So in cold weather, it's gonna look a little more wrinkly. Well, once it warms up and it really soaks in, it's gonna stretch out a little bit better. But the seal wise of the bed rails is actually really good. There's no light coming through at all. So that's good. There's, as I mentioned, um, the seal right here isn't really that great, but right there, I don't think is really gonna be that big of a problem. Um, now, since this truck did have the side rails, there's holes that I need to deal with. And then the tailgate cover, um, it appears to be pretty good. Looks like there's a little gap here and on the other side, but that's pretty good. So now let's roll it up, show you what it looks like rolled up. The process is rolling it up. Just pull one tab down, pull the other. And then you just. has these little clamps. Slide it in. And you're good. And this is what the truck looks like with the bed up or the cover up. So as you see these protrude. Um, this was the cheaper option where it sits on top of the bed rails. There is a more expensive, quite more expensive one where it sits on the inside of the bed rails. So you could keep your side bed rails and everything. Um, it's more of a flush mount, but for what I want, I think uh, this cheaper one's fine. I'm gonna run with the cover down most of the time anyways. Cover up is only when you need to actually use the bed. Um, so it looks a little funny with the cover up, but it's only gonna be up when you're using it. So, and I totally forgot to end the video, but yeah. Here's the install of the tonneau cover. It looks great and I really love it. I think it really fits and suits the truck. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.